So we brought uh, Vision on TV down to Totnes in the southwest of England today to talk to Ben Brangwen, who's co-founder of the Transition Network. Ben, could you uh, explain to us a little bit about what the Transition Network's about? Okay, so Transition Network is a small charity that started up in order to, to support communities as they uh, look at the impact of climate change and peak oil and try to figure out what the best things to do to respond to those are at the community level. And it's working on the basis that uh, most of our infrastructure, most of our food systems, our energy systems, our transport systems are completely reliant on fossil fuels, particularly oil. And the recognition that the age of cheap and abundant oil in particular is coming fairly slowly but surely to an end and that's happening right now and as we witness some of the traumas that are happening in European countries and elsewhere uh, th these are sure signs of it and so we help communities uh, figure out how to organize themselves how to uh, start up projects that look at um, more resilient ways of uh, of handling the food systems, the transport does, systems. Does that mean not not going in my car to the supermarket or growing my own vegetables? Well, that's a really good mean? that's a really good example. A, a supermarket is and the supermarket system is the perfect example of a completely non-resilient food system. It's very very clever, very intelligently designed, just in time food distribution system that really cannot withstand problems associated with liquid fuels. So in the UK in the year 2000, when we had, uh, when the lorry drivers blockaded the oil refineries, that put the entire food system, well, 80% of the food system, which is what the supermarkets represent, into jeopardy, and there were shortages on the shelves. And there was no way of addressing that short of commandeering fuel. And so it highlighted problems that we've got and although there that was a kind of artificial introduction of shortage of one of the key um, aspects of the food system, my oil, uh, you know what we're seeing globally now with uh, the, the oil that's coming through that um, we can't really rely on it you know going forward and now is now is absolutely the time to start looking at how to relocalize our food system. Mm. I can imagine it's a hugely complicated story and one that obviously we can't get into all its details for today. How would I find out more about you guys? Where, where, will, I, where will I sort of get more details of this? Well we've got a, a website called transitionnetwork.org and most transition groups one of the things that they do as they start up is to get themselves a web, a web presence. So uh, searching around your own local towns for instance um, could yield an existing transition group um, and we have on transitionnetwork.org a map of all the initiatives that have registered with us which is close to a thousand now including plenty in the UK, plenty in France, plenty across Europe so um, that's how people can find out what's going on and if there's nothing going on they can start something up themselves because every community is going to have to look at these and whether they look at them proactively or reactively is their own choice and I think proactively is a much wiser choice than reactively. Okay, thank you very much indeed for your time Ben. So you heard uh, the website we're talking about there, transition.org, go and have a look at it and uh, see if there's something going on near where you live. So this is Patrick Chalmers, I'm with Vision on TV in Totnes. And that was transitionnetwork.org. Transitionnetwork.org, no edit, there we go. Thank <laughs> you.